sing. Ivan's going to sing with us. <laughs> Ivan's not much of a singer, he says. <laughs> but we're hoping. At least in heaven, we will be able to sing with Ivan. That will be wonderful. Matthew eleven twenty eight through 30. The Lord says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. You will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So this song today, let's go one more slide there. Come Away from Rush and Hurry. Has anybody heard this song at all? Nobody. Yay, we got one. Nancy's going to sing it with us. It is the same <laughs> song as Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. Um, a lady in the 1948, Marva Dawn, she wrote new words to Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing, and it is Come Away from Rush and Hurry. And I heard this this week and thought that, um, gosh, the words on this are powerful. They're wonderful. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. So Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. Come away from rush and hurry to the stillness of God's peace. From our vain ambitions worry, come to Christ and find release. Come away from noise and clamor, life's taking Then children with your burdens, life's confusions, fears and pain. Leave them at the cross of Jesus, take instead his kingdom reign. Bring your thirst for he will quench them. He alone burdens, life's confusions, fears and pain. Leave them at the cross of Jesus. Take instead his kingdom reign. You just learned a new song. <laughs> Hopefully you liked it. Psalm 77, 13 <laughs> through 15. It says, your ways, God, are holy. And you are the God that performs miracles. You display your power among the people, and with your mighty arm, you redeem your people who you love. You are holy. This is an echo song, remember. And you are holy. I will follow. I will follow. And 
I will listen. I will listen. I will love you. I will love you all of my days. All of my days. And I will sing to and worship the King of Kings, Lord of worthy. And I will love and adore Him. I will bow down before Him. And I will sing to and worship the King who is worthy. And I will love. Psalms 131, 1 and 2, it says, My heart is not proud, Lord, and my eyes are not puffed up. I do not concern myself with great matters or with things that are too wonderful for me, but I have calmed and quieted myself, and I am content in you. Give them all to Jesus. Are you tired of chasing pretty rainbows? Are you tired of spinning round and round? Wrap up all the shattered dreams of your life. At the feet of Jesus, lay them Give them all, give them all, give them all to Jesus. Shattered dreams, wounded hearts, and broken toys. Give them all, give them all, give them all to Jesus, and He will turn your
the very things that once brought pain. Give them all, give them all, give them all to Jesus. Shattered dreams, wounded hearts, and broken toys. Give them all, give them all, give them all to Jesus. Give them all, give them all, give them all to Jesus. Shattered dreams, wounded hearts, and broken toys. Give them all, give them all, give them all to Jesus, and He will turn your sorrow. Our song of preparation is Jesus, Draw Me Close. Let us open our minds and our hearts today to receive the message that the Lord has prepared for us. Please open your hymnals with us to number 100, Great is Thy Faithfulness. Great is thy 
you what. There are some beautiful babies in this house, and there's bigger babies out there that are beautiful too. Did y'all know that? <laughs> Welcome to church today. Thank you all for your generosity uh, for God's church school. I thank you for being a blessing. What you did just helped grow our church, a little, our church school a little bit more. Did you know that? And when we give little, God makes it much somehow. He just makes it grow. Just like you guys, he is making y'all grow. So at church school, Abby will recognize this story. <laughs> at church and faith, was I, I got to do worship for church school one Wednesday when pastor couldn't be there. He was picking somebody up at the airport. But I love the story that God gave me, so I'm going to tell it again, okay? So I just need some help from y'all, if y'all don't mind. Um, Miss Becky was a little sick lately. And I had a little cough. So if you don't mind, I'm going to take a little bit of medicine before I get started, okay? So I don't, don't cough, okay? Mm, that, that's good. Whew. Maybe I'll feel better. I mean, y'all use your medicine that way, right? No? How do y'all take your medicine? You have to take this off and... Get in here and get some good stuff out? That's how it works, really? Oh, you drink it and it goes in you. Well, no wonder Miss Becky's not getting any better. I'm not using that right. Okay, so I know all of you know Pastor Larry Owens is my husband, and his initials are L-O. That makes me a B-O. So I'm going to put my deodorant on so that you guys can sit close to me today. It says put under your arm and roll. So there, I'm going to smell better in a little bit, okay? Just want to say that. If any of y'all have any issues with this, I may need another bottle. Is that how you put underarm deodorant on? How do y'all do it? Under your arm like that? You have to, you're telling me you have to rub it under your armpit so there's good stuff in there. Man, I'm glad I came to church today. I learned something every Sabbath. Praise God. Now, I went to the dentist lately. I know y'all are glad about that. I got a new tube of toothpaste and a toothbrush. Now, the doctor told me put the toothpaste on the toothbrush and brush my teeth. But I'm having a really hard time with this one because my mouth is not that big. So how do I do it? Because you take the toothbrush out of it and pull, take the lid out of this and pull it on. You squish it, the toothpaste and make it out of this, the toothbrush. Amazing. So I have to open this and I have to open this. And when I open this, I've got to open it more to get a cap off. And then I squish it on this. And that's how you brush your teeth? Oh, my goodness, yay! Like up and down for like two minutes twice a day. That's what I, but I want to thank y'all because now Miss Becky can brush her teeth without it hurting. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so we've learned that I'm not getting anything out of here unless I open it up, right? Whatever's good in that needs to go in me. And if I'm not opening it up and using it the right way, I'm not getting the good. This isn't helping me at all if I don't take that lid off, is it? It's not helping y'all either. And this, too, is not helping me if I'm not using it, opening it up, and getting out of it what's good. So I've got one more thing. Here's how I use my Bible. I'm going to learn everything in there today, and that's where I'm keeping it all day long. Is that how y'all learn from the Bible? You open it and you read about God. That's how easy. You learn new things from this. Too. So all Miss Becky has to do is open this book. And I have to, I have to hold it when I open it. Oh, open it like, okay, I tell you what. Miss Becky could learn a lot from y'all. We need to hang out together more. I want to look at one scripture. I tell you what, I'm going to look at one scripture in just a minute. Because I've got a very, very special, special music today. 
I have a child that's going to sing a song for us a cappella. So say a little prayer for our little friend Faith because she wants to sing a song for you during Children's Story, okay? Amen is right. Make me a servant, humble and meek. Lord, let me lift up those who So how many of you would say amen that she obviously opened up something good, took it in, and was able to give it back to Jesus? Amen. So Jesus says in his word in closing in John chapter 7, 10. Now this is Jesus praying for us. So this is some good stuff coming out of this good book that y'all have taught me. I need to open up to get the good out and to hold it while I got it open. And it says in John 17, 26, I have made known... I have made you known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them and I myself will be in them. So when we open this book up, we get Jesus. So the little song, Jesus loves me, this I know, for my toothpaste told me so. The Bible? Are you sure it doesn't go, Jesus loves me, this I know, for my cough syrup told me so. No? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. And after that, he makes us a servant, humble and meek. (laughs) You can go back to your seats, children. I guess we should have prayer. Can we have prayer? Anybody want to pray? We, th- you, uh, let me, can I ask her? She's not ever prayed here before. You have a prayer for us, okay? God, thank you for letting us be at church tonight. And, and, um, and thank you for letting all these parents and kids be here at church tonight. And, and I hope that they never get sick and do anything wrong. Amen. 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 Thank you. You guys can go back to your seats. Thank you, everybody. Miss B.O., that was a tremendous blessing. What a beautiful story. And thank, thank you, Faith, for that beautiful song. Amen. His faith is very, very brave. I had her in my kayak a few weeks ago, and we are a ways from the shore. And she says, Mr. Ryan, can I jump and swim to shore? And I told her, go ahead. And she was so brave to jump out there and seem to share. Thank you, Miss Faith, for having that bravery. Our uh, time now is to uh, go to prayer. And you'll have in your bulletins an insert with our prayer requests. Mm -hmm. Uh, But there's also uh, praises this week. We talked briefly about the graduates. And we have college graduates, too. And uh, we have another graduate graduating for, I think, about 40 years of service to our county. Uh, Brother Jeff has graduated from his uh, 40 years of civil service. And congratulations to Jeff for starting a new phase in his life. And he's looking forward to spending more time, even more time here in church. Uh, Thank you, Brother Jeff, for doing that. Uh, Let's go to uh, knees in prayer, if you can.
Good morning, Heavenly Father. We are humbled to be able to come to you in prayer. Uh, Father, the creator of the universe, listening to creation, it's all inspiring. Father, this uh, week we have many praises to share. Praises of success in uh, graduation and in retirements. And uh, Father, many accomplishments happened this week. And uh, just heard of a friend that has chosen to uh, give, turn his life over to Jesus. And uh, I praise you, Father, for such excitement. Uh, Father, also this uh, morning we ask you for the Holy Spirit to be present here in this church as we hear as we hear your spoken word. Uh, Father, be with uh, Brother as he brings uh, your bread of life to us this morning. Father, don't let us leave the same way we came in. Uh, help us leave uh, closer to you and better prepare to, uh, to tackle daily life, better prepare to help those around us and to always have a word of encouragement to share. Father, uh, camp meeting is closing, and uh, the pastors will be tearing down camp uh, tomorrow. Father, I ask you to, to be with them, and uh, Pastor Larry, as he comes back home tomorrow. Uh, Father, I also ask you uh, special blessings for, for the children as they finish their, their school year. Uh, give them a beautiful summer, and some are going to summer camp. Uh, be with Camp Alamesco and uh, all the blessings that all those children will receive. Father, many children will request baptism from camp. I praise you, Father, also for that uh, spiritual blessing for the children. I ask you these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Good morning, church family. Today's scripture is Romans 7, 24. A wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death. To Jesus that he would make me sing like Beyonce. But he told me no. <laughs> and then I tried to sing and it didn't sound like Beyonce. And he told me that whatever I have, I need to use for him. If I'm not using what I have, then why is he going to give me more? So today I stand before you as a testimony that I may not be a great singer. This may be way out of my comfort zone, and it is. And it's probably way out of my range, too. <laughs> but I want to use what God gave me. And then maybe he'll multiply it someday. <laughs> so yeah, that, this, is, this is definitely out of my comfort zone. It's not, I'm not, this is a hard song. I thought, I'm taking voice lessons, and so I wanted to do this song, because I was like, oh, this one's really hard. So <laughs> it's still hard for me. <laughs> it never got better, but okay.
to temptation.